So welcome to all of you and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, distillation uh, topic and in this uh, slide I mentioned the uh, different points okay uh, on which my lecture will be based okay. So each point we will discuss in a very clear way okay please listen get carefully and if you have any queries regarding this if you are unable to understand then please uh, write down your comment in the comment box i will uh, further explain okay so in this slide you can see in distillation topic there are different uh, points such as introduction distillation types of distillation application of distillation uses of distillation advantages of distillation disadvantages of distillation and conclusion is mentioned so each point is very important so please listen carefully so first of all if you uh, see the introduction then distillation what is the distillation what is the meaning of distillation okay so it is widely used method for separating mixture okay so if any uh, liquid or uh, any vapor uh, any liquids containing different types of components okay so you can uh, separate uh, into uh, individual compounds components you can say okay so it is based on difference in the conditions required to change the phases of component of the mixture okay so there is a different conditions difference differences in the condition means uh, you should uh, first of all what happened in this uh, distillation uh, in, you can see in the round bottom plus first of all you will take the a mixture of components okay so mixture of components having different physiochemical properties okay such as if you see the boiling points there will be different boiling points okay so first you can see the first of all what happened liquid is converted to vapors okay so vapor will be condensed and further convert to liquids okay so it is the fundamental uh means fundamental basics of distillation okay so uh, by this you can uh, separate a mixture of components okay to separate a mixture of liquids, the liquids can be heated to force components which have different boiling points into gaseous phase. Okay, so to separate a mixture of liquids, okay, so mixture of liquids means mixture of components uh, present in the liquid. You can say the liquid can be heated to force components. So first of all, heating is a uh, heating is given so that's why randomness would be cast. Okay, randomness means uh, are uh, you can say. Uh, you can say that molecules will be uh, uh, molecule will be heated to each other okay so after that what happened a time will become on which they can uh, vaporize okay they can vaporize and go through the condenser okay and after that uh, they uh, they will be condensed okay and after condensation it is converted to further liquids okay so that's why having different boiling points are another phenomenon these sep these can be uh, these component can be separated from mixture com mixture of compounds okay so this is the basic of this phenomenon okay the gas is then condensed back into liquids uh, forms and collected okay so that's why the gas is then condensed or you can say the vapor is then condensed back into liquids uh, liquids form and then you can collect in the rb and thus it is separated or collect, collected okay so repeating the process of the collected liquids to improve the purity of product is called double distillation okay so repeating the process on the collected liquids okay so you can repeat the process of uh, this uh, process okay uh, first of all suppose that if you have any liquid mixture containing four components so first of all you should heat it then one component will be separated repeat you by repetition of uh, on four step you can separate all the components okay so one component will be remain in the uh, uh, rb initial rb okay on which you can you uh, taken you taken the mixture of components okay three will be separated you can uh, each fraction you can separate okay so you can collect uh, in different uh, you can say are uh, uh, rb or other uh, glass wheels okay so it is the fundamentals okay so repeating the process on the collected liquids to improve the purity of product is called double distillation so double distillation if you carried out double distillation then what happened here purity will be increased okay suppose that a one mixture containing two components so uh, on one process means uh, uh, if you carried out one di one distillation 
then one component will be separated okay but some of the impurities will be remaining in the one uh, remaining so after repeating second uh, same process uh, in the second then it will be pure means purity will be increased okay although the term is most commonly applied to liquids and the reverse process can be used to separate gases by liquefying components using changes in temperature or pressure okay so by using pressure and temperature different these are all the these are the, these are the process means you can uh, difference uh, because component having different temperature and some component uh, uh, you can uh, because some component having uh, suppose that one component having 25 degrees celsius temperature and if you uh, give the 25 degrees celsius temperature then if any molecules uh, having less than 25 then it will be degraded so that's why for reducing the temperature you should provide the pressure on that point so, okay so that's why your molecules which present in the mixture will be not degraded okay so it is the fundamentals so a plant that perform distillation uh, uh, distillation is called distillery okay so uh, a plant that performs so uh, distillation in which uh, you can say a plant in which distillation is carried out this is called distillery and the apparatus apparatus is called uh, stills okay and uh, sorry the apparatus used to perform distillation is called stills okay so uh the another point is distillation okay so distillation simply i have mentioned three points it is very important point for you so uh, distillation is used to separate two liquids of sufficiently different boiling points okay so it is the basic means different boiling points uh, of uh, you can separate two liquids okay and equilibrium between vaporizing and condensing a distillation column allowing for separation of liquids okay so this is the equilibrium because some component will be vaporized further condensed or so further uh, condensed and converted to liquids some are uh, vaporized and goes to the uh, condenser and then collected on the rb okay so it, this is the equilibrium means equilibrium will be maintained in this okay so an equilibrium between vaporizing and condensing in the distill a distillation column allows for separation of liquids okay so that's why resulting uh, resulting you can separate the mixture of liquids okay uh, most of the most of the lower most of the lower uh, boiling 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 liquid is collected in a receiver okay so on which you can separate uh, first of all they will uh, after condensing they will be liquefied and then you can uh, so you can collect on the receiver this apparatus is called receiver means one type of rb or other uh, glassware okay so it is called receiver okay on which you can uh, collect the uh, individual components okay the receiver while file most of the higher boiling liquids remain in the original products okay so higher boiling liquid will be remain in the initial in which a component of mixture of components uh, you are going to separate okay so it is the basic sub distillation so types of distillation if you uh, see the type of distillation then some important type of distillation include simple distillation okay uh, then fractional distillation then steam distillation vacuum air sensitive short path and zone distillation so it, it is uh, different types of distillation types okay so uh, come on the on this slide it is the uh, come on this slide is the simple distillation so what is the meaning of simple distillation so in this heating is provided to the liquid mixtures to the boiling their boiling points okay and immediately condensing the resulting vapor so by which if you provide the temperature to the uh, to the rb and then what happened the boiling points uh, on which uh, because they're different suppose that you are uh, a, a, a you can say that a mixture of component may be acetone or hexane so these two solvents have different boiling points but there are uh, uh, after that their own boiling point they will vaporize and further uh, condense converted to liquids and then you can easily separate okay so it is the basic okay so this method is very effective uh, this method is well this method is very effective for mixture where the boiling points of liquid are considerably different okay so uh, there uh, means uh, in simple distillation boiling point difference is considered okay uh, a minimum difference is 25 degrees celsius okay so if you are any if you are going to separate two component two uh, liquids or other component then difference will be 25 degrees celsius okay it is the basic okay so the purity of distillates uh, the purified liquid is governed by Rall's law okay so purity uh, of distillates is governed by Rall's law okay so it is the basic 
next if uh, next it is the French fractional distillation okay so fractional distillation is often used to separate mixture of liquids that have similar boiling points so uh, it is different from simple distillation because there will be boiling difference but in this diff mixture of liquid that has similar boiling points okay so what is the how you can separate it involves several vaporization condensation steps the process is also known as rectification. So in this sense, boiling point is same. So several vaporization and ascension process carried out. Okay. So by which this uh, this process is known as rectification. The operator required to perform a fractional distillation on mixer is listed below. Okay. So there will be required a brown bottom flux or distilling flux, a source of heat which can be fire or hot bath, uh, receiving flash to collect the condensed vapors, uh, fractioning columns thermometer to measure the temperature to the distilling flask and condenser and standard glassware. So these are instruments that will require, uh, the, the, these are instruments is required for uh, processing the distillation process, okay. When heated, uh, so it is the simple uh, structure of distillation you can see. So when, uh, when heated, the liquid mixture is converted to vapor. So this is the, uh, this, uh, you can say this is the round bottom flask or distilled flask and in these two different types of mixers uh, is present. So after heating below, see, actually uh, this is not, this is the, okay. So after giving the temperature, this is boiling point is different. So that's why this convert, liquid converted to vapors and then vaporization to process takes place and this is the condens condenser. So in this temperature, in this, this is the cooling condition is provided in this. So that's why vapors converted to liquids and further it will be collected in the uh, receiver. Okay. So by this phenomenon and temperature is measured by the thermometers. Okay. Because 25 degrees Celsius temperature is, uh, should be in simple distillation. Okay. And fractional distillation, there is the same boiling point. So, but you should be uh, know about the temperature. So for measuring the temperature, thermometer is used. Fractionating column is used in the fractional distillation. This is the water in and water out. Water in means water will be come and it will be uh, fill up in this uh, condenser and it uh, um, and the purpose uh, for this condenser to cooling these vapors to uh, help for converting into uh, liquids. Okay, so that's why after uh, converting to uh, vapors to liquid, it will be collected in the uh, receivers. Okay, so the hot vapors emitting from the distillation pot now heated the condensed vapor, creating new vapors. So many such vaporization condensation cycle takes place, and the purity of, the, of distillation improves uh, with urea cycle. So if you are uh, repeating distillation, if you, if you carry it out, then what happened here? Purity will be increased. An illustration depicting a fractional uh, distillation setup is provided below. So it is a simple. Uh, set up, you can see this one. So steam distillation, so uh, two uh, distillation is completed. One is simple distillation and fractional distillation. If you see the uh, steam distillation, so steam distillation is often used to separate heat sensitive components in a mixer. Okay, so if you have heat sensitive component in a mixer, then steam distillation is carried out. So what is the uh, phenomenon? What to, uh, means, so what is the process behind the steam distillation? So this is done by passing steam uh, through a mixer. So it's like where you can see the figure in this, this is the mixer of components. So in this steam is provided by which your component will not degrade it, okay? So because your component is here heat sensitive, okay? So if you directly uh, gives the heat, then uh, there will be chances to degrade the components, okay? This is done by passing steam through the mixer to vaporize some of it. The process stabilizes high heat transfer rate without the need for high temperatures. The resulting vapor is condensed to for the required distillate. The process is steam distillation is used to obtain essential oil and herbal distillate from several aromatic flower. So this steam distillation is very important in the uh, cosmetics and other perfumery industries uh, such as essential oil, uh, isolations, herbal distillates from several aromatic, uh, aromatic flowering herbs. Okay, so it is very important for industrial purpose. Vacuum distillation, vacuum distillation is ideal for separate mixture of liquid with high boiling points. Okay, so high boiling points, you will provide the vacuum uh, distillation. Okay, means you will use the vacuum distillation. So in order to boil these component heating uh, to high temperature is an inefficient method. Therefore, the pressure of surrounding is lower in state. Okay. Uh, the lowering the pressure enables the component to boil at lower temperature. Once the vapor pressure of component is equal to the surrounding pressure, it is converted to vapor. So there will be a condition if vapor pressure of a component is equal to the surrounding pressure, okay, then it is uh, converted to 
vapors okay these vapors are then condensed and collected as a distillate then this vapor condensed converted to liquids it is the simple uh, uh, phenomenon and it is called distillate okay so uh, the vacuum distillation method is also used to obtain the high purity samples of component that decomposes to high temperature okay so it is very important so in this vacuum is provided okay air sensitive vacuum distillation uh, what is the meaning of this so for compounds that are sensitive to air are readily react with it okay so some component are uh, readily react with the air uh, particles or air molecules you can say the vacuum distillation process is carried out but the vacuum must be replaced uh, with an inert gas okay so vacuum must must be uh, vacuum must be replaced uh, by inert gas once the process is complete okay and such a process is often referred to air sensitive vacuum distillation okay short part distillation what is the meaning of this used to purify a small quantity of compound that is unable to uh, unable unstable at high temperature so this short part distillation is used for the component which are unstable at high temperature okay so uh, since these are unstable at high temperature so uh, that's why you should provide the vacuum okay this is done under lower pressure so for lowering the pressure you should use the vacuum pump okay level and generally involves the distillate traveling at very small distance before being collected the reduced dist uh, distance traveled by the distillation in a distillate in this method also reduces the wasted along the walls of apparatus okay so it is the simple definition of this so application of distillation is plays important role in many water purification techniques so you can purify the water many distillate uh, desalination plants incorporate this method in order to obtain drinking water from sea water so for, uh, if we want to separate the the drinking water from sea water you, you you can use the distillation so different industries uh, use this process okay for uh, uh, obtaining the drinking water from uh, sea water okay distilled water has numerous applications such as lead acid batteries and low volume humidity fires okay many uh, fermented products such as alcoholic beverage are purified with the help of uh, this method many perfumes and food flavoring are obtained from herbs and plant uh, via distillation process so in perfumery and flavoring industry it is uh, uh, used for distillation of essential oil like that so okay. uh, oil stabilization is an important type of distillation that reduces vapor pressure of crude oil enabling safe storage and transportation air can be separated into nitrogen so you can also use for separating the airs into individual components so uses of distillation distillation is used many commercial process such as production of gasoline distilled water jarine alcohol paraffin kerosene and many other liquids so it is the application of this gas may be liquefied and separate for example nitrogen oxygen organite distillate from air so it is a simple uh, distillation so advantages of distillation is it is an efficient method of water softening for uh, a smaller purpose it is uh, relatively cheap okay and it can uh, it can also be reused so disadvantage as a process of water softening distillation requires a clean ice so that unwanted element do not mix with water when distillation is done at larger scale it is a very high amount of energy needed okay so if you want to distillate a, a large amount of there will be high amount of energy is needed so it is the drawbacks uh, okay and uh, unwanted element do not mix with water so uh, okay so distilled water does not contain any oxygen and it is very tasteless because it having no oxygen so it is the testless so distilled water become testless because there is no oxygen okay next it is a very high level of acidity okay so it contain acidic nature okay so it is a drawback so if you see the conclusion distillation should not be considered as a method of water softening because one might end up having unwanted element in the distilled water so conclusion means you can uh, how you can use the distillation so if for distilling water uh, from sea water okay distilling water distilled water is used in several industries uh, so by which you can use the distillation and you can also separate uh, uh, drinking water from sea water and uh, liquid that have high boiling point equal to water will not be separated but will condense with the water and moreover this process require a lot of energy to be carried out okay so conclusion uh, means uh, what is the advantages actually in this slide they will not means uh, they did not mention that point but uh, what is the conclusion of uh, distillation so you can also uh, also write down uh, the different applications okay so because it is unique uh, in own tech uh, own process okay so it is the some uh, slides uh, it is very important slides and uh, i will give the uh, credit uh, to the study mafia dot organize this is the website on which uh, i 
taken these slides. It is very uh, nice slide. Okay, so all credit goes to the this uh, guys study mafia dot organization. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. And if you have any queries regarding this stuff, then please like. Uh, please uh, write down your comment in the comment box. I will solve your problem. Okay.